so I just put myself back on Facebook after nine days of deactivating my account. And the great thing with Facebook and my um, intherooms.com site for the video meetings is you can deactivate your account and then come right back. And oddly, I don't seem to lose any friends. I've only ever done it on intherooms.com for like three weeks. I did it twice. Um, and I only managed to go to 12 days on Facebook because um, intherooms.com was being very glitchy. And I don't know. People on Facebook like to have a lot of fun. And it's okay. And I'm also on Twitter. Um, but... There's some things I don't like about Facebook, like all those, you know, post on your site things and the, this new thing in the last year, the cancer survivors posts. I'm going to read one because it's really bad. I've heard a couple of cancer survivor posts and some of them are like, eh, but this one was like really in your face and um, kind of got offended even though it's not what the person that posted it wrote. It's just kind of one of those send around things. Um, but anyway, here it goes. I know what cancer and treatment can do to a body and mind as I've watched the transformation. I sometimes wonder if the treatment is worth it in the long haul. With a heavy heart today, especially. Nothing is more painful than watching someone at the end of their life because of cancer trying to look good but after chemo and radiation you know the person is physically changed and they're in shock i know many of you do not give a hoot about this message because of course cancer has not touched you you do not know what it's like to have fought the fight or had a loved one who leads a battle against cancer for all the men and women I know, I ask you a small favor, and only some of you will do it, if you know someone who has led a battle against cancer, still struggling, or who has passed, please add this to your status for one hour as a mark of support, respect, and remembrance. Copy and paste to support to those affected by cancer. From your phone or tablet, Hold your finger on the message to copy and paste on your page. And it's totally contradicting itself, obviously. On one hand, of course, we don't understand. We haven't been through. We haven't seen anyone um, as a cancer survivor die. But on the other hand, if you have, please post it. And um, it's just really hard because it, it brought up a lot of things because... I don't know if you know that, um, well, you might know that, um, my father died of melanoma skin cancer when I was 11 years old. He was nursed at home. Um, my mom, um, she had very little help. She tried to get my brother and I to like babysit or whatever. He was nine. I was 11. Um, I remember one time my mom asked me to babysit. And I said no because I wanted to go play with my friend, you know. And the real reason is because I knew he was, like, puking that day. Um, and I was afraid to see people puke. So I said no and I went to play with my friends. And my mom, like, it's like she never forgave me for that. And I told my worker and my worker said that's, you know, you're a child. You shouldn't have to deal with adult responsibilities. Um, really the only reason was the puking. I do like to help him and I, I was glad that he was at home and I did have to go through this. I, I am a bit resentful because the person who posted this has four, um, siblings. I have zero now that my brother's dead and just different things like that. Um, I've been pretty lucky. I've had um, one precancerous mole removed and, um, six or seven that have been found that look suspicious before anything suspicious. I've been really lucky. I know that, you know, it hasn't really, really touched me since I was 11 years old and I know my grandmother had it. But the weird thing too is that this lady who posted it, her mom had cancer and she 
was like what's going on like are you um are you like not telling me something because you know it's her hubby who had cancer but the lady's mom had cancer and she said I had it and I passed with flying colors and you know your hubby found the cancer quick and had the surgery and everything happened really quick so there was no thing in her mind that he would die likely and um to say that um the treatment maybe it, he shouldn't have gone through it because it was hard um I don't know you know my dad wanted to go through the treatment because he had hope and at one point he realized there wasn't hope but we kept him comfortable with morphine and all that sort of thing but um I think I think it's like really hard for me to hear that anyway I don't know maybe I'll post it underneath anyways thanks